All right, what are we thinking on my pile? All right, so give me an offer. 50 bucks. All right. Yep. Gold. Gold. I mean 30. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Bloggy flip. Is this where the sale is? Yeah. yeah. Just, just out here? Just poke around out there. Okay. Um, our strategy is to um, make y'all take as much as we can <laughs> so we don't have to clean up the rest of it. Okay. So we've cool. got a lot of great tools. Um, I saw the word collectibles in the ad. That's mainly what I'm looking uh, for. Highly likely, yeah. Um, oh, wow. And uh, we haven't even started pulling stuff out of the house yet. Okay. So, um, and I don't know that we'll, if our, our goal for this trip around is um, to get the garage cleaned out so we can park a car in there this winter. Okay. So, cool. Yeah. So just look around, make a little look pile or something. And if you see it, it's, it's for sale. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Looking stir for pretty cool. Good morning, how are you? Good, yeah, what's up? Do you have a red beard? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. A big, tall, like six, 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 seven guy in a red truck pulled up, and he's like, did a guy in a red beard get here yet? Like, no. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> and I go, I go, well, I'll tell him, a big guy in a red truck, and he goes, well, he doesn't know me, but I know him. That's kind of funny. Oh, so you guys are all like, that's really serious? Hello, oh, yeah. Pickers. Oh, Pickers? Yeah, I got a lots of garage sales and stuff around yeah. town. It's kind of funny. Making a name for myself. <laughs> That's crazy. Did he buy anything? Yep. Did he? All the cool stuff. He bought $25 worth of stuff. Yeah. Right on. I have a couple things I'm interested in. Just when we start making a pile outside here. I can say from all this. It's biting other people. It's nuts. <laughs> Oh man. Rain does. Pocket Yes. Oh, thank God. Poor <sighs> Rain.
morning. Good. So the method here is, uh, is madness. Yeah. Um, we're, we're relying on people to uh, buy what you want so that we don't have to clean it up. Yeah. Oh. I don't even know how he got through that. I don't even know how he found those typewriters. How did you even find those typewriters? What's that? How, where were they at those typewriters? That's crazy. Uh, just on the shelves there. Yeah, you can. I got it, I got it. When Mike and uh, Wynn get out, we'll have a great car. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, we had a little car compressor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I know, that's a score. It's never even been over. Nice little city player. Yeah. Uh, the disc win? Yeah, why not? Can't be priced. <laughs> about that one. Should we go ask? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. All right, what are we thinking on my pile? All right, so give me an offer. 50 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Sold. I mean 30. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be that person. I would never do that. <laughs> you do that dissecting kit's super weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's just, super weird. That's cool. I like weird stuff. I like weird stuff too. All right. It's fun. What road is this right here? Is That's this... an alley. Yeah, you just go right up. Go around and come down. Okay, road. awesome. Thank you. Sure. All right, yeah. Hey, you know what? <laughs> We're all about that. Yeah. This game, you don't get the duct tape on it. Ruins it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right? All right, you guys have a great day. You too, Good luck. All right, so we just left that garage sale and it's actually pretty much right across the street from my antique booth. I need to pick up my check. So I figured I'd pop in real quick and just kind of show you what it looks like right now. Got a bunch more stuff to bring to it and I've not been here for about two weeks. So uh, let's go see how it looks. There's the outside. Morning, how are you? Just fine, how are you doing? Good, thanks. I don't think I've ever met you. Uh, Anthony. Anthony, mm -hmm. hi Anthony. Hi. I'm Laurie. Laurie, nice to meet you. All right, looks like we have a lot of people signed the book. I'll have to come back here and, and read these all later. But thank you so much everyone, that's awesome. Looks like I need to bring some new stickers. I actually think I'm gonna take this case out of here because anything small enough to fit in it I normally just put on eBay, so it's not really doing me any good, and it's pretty much empty right now, so I think I'm going to get rid of this case, actually. Maybe bring in, like, a clothing rack or something right there. Uh, got some empty shelf space everywhere. Looks like some stuff is sold. Actually, the last time I was in here, these records were, like, overflowing. So, looks like we sold quite a few records. This shelf was full last time I was here. Got some room freeing up on these shelves. I think I might stop buying globes. I love buying globes, but I don't want to ship them and uh, they don't move very fast. Sold the Explorer sign up there. That's pretty cool. I have probably two big loads to bring in here this week, so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty full. And I gotta bring some stickers. Don't let me forget to bring stickers. Alright, I'm gonna pick up the check. Is it okay to pick up last month's checks yet? Oh yeah. Oh, I, I'm never sure when they're ready, but I was in the neighborhood. I'm sure you've made it. I, you're probably close to a millionaire at this point. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah. <laughs> What's your number? Uh, 398. Yeah. 
pretty close. <laughs> I think it's those records. I yeah, oh they they fly. Every day I was ringing those puppies <laughs> out. Well, yeah, those records. They they were loving those. And now I can't find any more. Oh, you can't. Yeah, I gotta hunt harder. Uh, yeah, you gotta hunt hard. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. All right, guys, just picked up my check. It's a uh, 604.15, which is not bad in my opinion. Not enough to make you rich, but it does make you be able to buy uh, bigger stuff and different stuff and uh, just kind of just kind of store it away and not really think about it. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about this garage sale that we just went to. Let's uh, let's uh, get home and, and take a look at what we picked up. Make that money? Yeah, make that money, guys. All right, guys, so we have made it back. Like it. Yeah, they loved it. All right, so we made it back home. Um, I've had a little bit of time to do some research and kind of uh, justify some of my, I guess, suspicions regarding value. Uh, I think we did pretty well. So the funny thing about that garage sale was it's it was just like this little pop-up midweek uh, estate clean-out garage sale thing. Uh, I saw an ad last night and it basically said, text this number for the address and make sure you text before you show up. I thought that was a little bit funny, but I mean, you know, what else are you gonna do midweek? So, uh, but I'm really glad I jumped through all the hoops because I shot out an offer of 50 bucks thinking they would come back higher. They were really just looking to clear out their garage. But real quick, let me show you what I picked up to resell. I got some small stuff here. This uh, GPX CD player was actually technically free, I guess. Um, it's just a GPX brand, but it's brand new in the package. I think it's probably good for 25 bucks. Grab this little electronics tool kit. I just mainly grabbed this to throw in my tool bag because I could use some pliers and stuff. So that was a cheap way to do it. Grab this old dissecting kit just because I thought it was kind of weird and neat. And then a Texas Instrument Rechargeable Kit uh, for, you know, next time I find one of those calculators that needs one and it doesn't have one. Grab this painted uh, Navy recruitment sign. I see some posters online, but I don't see many of the uh, strictly painted wood. And I just thought it was pretty neat. I'm sure this will go in the antique booth. But it's in really good condition, and I just thought it was really cool. Now for the good stuff. I found this Corona Standard typewriter. Definitely vintage, probably antique. Uh, pretty good shape. Everything in there was super dusty. I cleaned off a little bit of it, but not everything. But I do see comps on this specific typewriter for upwards of like 250 bucks. So that is pretty great right there. Then we got this Victrola Model 6. It's a uh, Victor VV-VI, which is Victor Victrola Model 6. It also is covered in about an inch of dust. It looks like it's not been touched in decades, but that is fine with me. It looks like it's pretty much complete, except it is missing these doors. Now these can sell for a lot of money as a working unit, like two, three, four, five hundred bucks. But the reason I bought it was I figured that it would probably do well as a parted out piece. And after doing a little research, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think this thing is a gold mine as far as parts go. Every single part of this can be removed and sold on its own. For uh, people looking to do restoration projects and stuff like this crank arm that can sell for like 30 to 60 bucks every every screw on this thing the tone arm the actual turntable platter even though it needs a uh, refelted this part here is the actual sound reproducer it's a model exhibition one in 10 times worse condition than this just sold like within the last few days for 60 bucks this particular part can sell for i mean over 100 bucks depending on condition and but i mean we have the crank arm we have all the screws we have this little piece right here that can sell on its own all these screws the tone arm the reproducer the platter the uh horn inside the plate even the case or just pieces of the case got all these screws on top i think this might be the speed selector right here that's that's got value on its own so this is definitely getting parted out it's all just uh flathead screws so it won't it won't be hard to take apart and i think when all is said and done this is probably a two three four hundred dollar unit just in parts and i don't have to test a thing so that is my kind of flip right there and then what i think was the absolute best find uh they didn't even know it was there it was like hidden back on a shelf i'll probably butcher this name but i think it's Blickensdurfer. Uh, it's a Model 7 typewriter. I believe these are made somewhere between like the 1890s and the early 1900s, I think. This case was covered in a ton of dust. I got a lot of it cleaned off. I still need to do a little bit better, but once I got the lid off, you can tell that it had really done its job because this thing is in beautiful condition, especially like when I looked up comps later. I've seen so many with like rusted out bells. The, uh, the uh, keys are falling apart. All the paint's chipping off of here scratches everywhere this thing is pretty beautiful for its age i mean we're talking well over 100 years old i'm sure it will need serviced but i did just see one recently sell pretty similar condition with the yellow keys they, they also made it with black keys 
but I saw one in very similar condition recently sell for like 475 bucks. Also with the uh, disclaimer that it looks nice, but it'll probably need serviced. I mean, people buy these thinking that they're gonna probably need serviced or else they're gonna be a lot more expensive. But just looking on WorthPoint over the last couple of years, this model has sold upwards of like 600 bucks, uh, maybe, maybe even more. But this was definitely a very good find in very good complete condition. But very cool, very happy to have found this and very glad that I uh, went to that little secret garage sale. All right guys, so that's all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.